Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing well, enjoying your weekend. We are going to do a live reading for the Leo Collective today. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on your overall energy for your reading is keep calm. It says stressing. Stop letting things or people steal your peace, inner happy and inner happiness. All is well, no matter how it appears. So um Leo, this is the sign. That's your energy. Everything is going according to plan. Also, we have Scorpio here as well. So you could be connected to another Leo or a Scorpio, your fellow fixed signs. Um, okay, there's somebody in your energy. Excuse me, could also be an Aries for some of you. Um, somebody here feels like they made the wrong choice by walking away from you, wanting to explore other options. They felt like they were missing something. It says, I thought I was missing something, but all I want is you now. I burned the bridge to my happiness. So you made this person happy. They were ungrateful. They thought they were missing something. They went seeking, searching elsewhere just to find out that they were, you know, they gave up a diamond to pick up a rock, a basic everyday little trash rock. Okay, this person wants to speak to you. They're thinking about coming forward to you. They feel like they are running out of time. There's a small window of opportunity for them to get you back. Okay, they feel like they've made a mess. All they keep thinking about is how they messed up. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. But I'm feeling like they think you've moved on. Because we have brought your horizons here, growth, expansion, and foresight. What other opportunities are out there for you, waiting for you? You could be patiently waiting for your ships to come in, making progress, momentum. And that's about finding long lasting love. Okay. Hmm. It's like anticipation. They they have this feeling that you have moved on or you are ready to move on. Well, let's see what's going on here. Show me this person that thought they was missing something. What is this all about? They thought they were missing something. Don't they always think they're missing something? We have loyalty, stability, and stable offer. Some of you, this was a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay. They felt like something was going to be more lucrative for them, more stable. There could have been something better. They weren't sure if you were everything they wanted until they lost you. I need answers. Yeah, they were searching for answers. The Ace of Pentacles is the card that came out first. And that talks about being in a connection that is going to go the long run. Okay. Earth signs are very loyal, <laughs> very grounded very stable and so this is like a situation where you meet someone also could be financially motivated with this person i don't know because the ace of pentacles can talk about opportunities for money okay so they could be looking at it as a situation that it was a come up that's only for some of you for others of you this is just someone who thought i don't know if you're not the apple person leo that's essentially what they're saying here they needed answers they needed to go and find out if they were right or wrong what do they want to say to you right now? They're coming to talk to you. Arrested development. Some of you, this is a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries who could be younger than you. Very immature. Okay. Hmm. Could also be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person needed more than you were willing to give them. They wanted to be treated like a child. Their emotional needs were never going to be fulfilled by one person. And this is what they realized when they started seeing other people that, okay, ain't nobody giving me what I'm looking for. So maybe it's me. We'll speak up now. They could be coming to confess that to you. You won't miss me till I'm gone. So this is what they want to tell you. They feel like they missed an opportunity. They were stubborn. They were ungrateful for you and they were self-absorbed. Yeah, they rejected you because they thought they were missing something. It could be a cancer. Or some of you could be on a cancer Leo pest. Show me what a mess. This is what's on their mind. What a mess I've made. Lose my number and forget we ever met. Some of you told them that or they feel like you will if you call, if they call. But they are going to try to reach out to you, it looks like. It could be over the next four months for some of you. It could be days for others of you. Incarceration and criminal background. Wow. Some of them could be in, in prison. Or they have a, a criminal background. That could also be, you know, figurative for just feeling like they're stuck, they're trapped, they're overthinking, they're in prison in their mind, they're in a mental prison, could be a Gemini. Hmm. Should be broaden your horizons. They feel like you've moved on to somebody better, y'all. They do. 
You give me peace, temperance, Sagittarius energy. They miss the peace that you brought to their life. They also uh, feel like you're finding your peace. And maybe that's in a new connection. <laughs> Some of you could be meeting in Aries or Sagittarius. Name calling. They feel like you're going to cuss them out. This could be an Aquarius or a Libra. Yeah, for putting you in a situation, third party situation or whatever they did. They feel like when, you, when they call you, you're going to cuss them out because they're trying to impede upon your uh, peace. No matter how many other people I meet and date, you still have a stronghold on me. Could be another Leo. Then we have the Queen of Wands here. Um, this could be a very attractive person. Could be another fire sign, in particular an Aries. Uh, yeah, they they miss your friendship. Your twin is ready. You'll hear from them soon. For some of y'all, this is a twin flame, and you will hear from them soon. I expected you to treat me right, but I didn't do the same for you. So look, they were not even being fair with you. Expecting some of you could definitely be on the Cancer Leo cusp. If so, go watch Cancer because that's the kind of person they were dealing with. This is someone who had these unfair expectations. Could be a Scorpio or a Libra. We have Hierophant. Some of you were married to this person or it felt like a you know a deep soul connection. Could definitely be a twin. Could be a Taurus. Going back and forth between two people. See, and not a vibrational match. Don't fool yourself. Ooh, relationship goals. They fool themselves and think somebody else was a vibrational match, and then they realize. Relationship goals, power couple, unbreakable bond, perfect match, a unified front. And then we have Hermit. This person's been doing a lot of soul searching and they're determined to have you. Some communication is coming in from this person. I will take action towards you soon. Be patient with me. Yeah, they're coming. Let's take a look at the tarot really quickly and see what messages we get. A little bit of hidden truth as well. And then we'll close it out. Okay. What do you want Leo to know? We have the seven of wands. This past person coming back towards you, you could have them blocked. Okay, Leo, this is your energy. Very defensive stance. Very much standing your ground. Very strong boundaries. And I feel like the, this communication coming in. The six, six wands coming towards you and you're holding one. This is someone who admires you. The six of wands is about admiration. Could definitely be another Leo. This is someone wanting to express to you that they have strong feelings for you, that they care about you, and um, they admire you. This is someone wanting to make you the center of attention, but you're blocking it. Look at her eyes. <laughs> yeah, because this hurts you. Now we have the nine of wands here. And this is why. You want to protect the fact that you have healed yourself. You found your peace. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been an ongoing battle dealing with this person. And again, that Ace of Wands is, is still in his hand, just like here. Ace of Wands is definitely someone up for the challenge. It's someone who is ready to get back in the game. It's someone who is um, taking inspired action. And it's like these Eight Wands, which is the communication they want to sit, send towards you. You're kind of side-eyeing right now. Don't bring that over here. The Emperor, you mean business. You're very stubborn. You're stern. You're not moved. You're fixed right now in how you feel. Very focused on your goals and other things in your life, Aries energy. So we have Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with another fire sign. Or you are have you got a lot of um fire in your chart. Look at what you're blocking. You're blocking the devil. This devil that turned their back on you could be a Capricorn. This is a person coming in with a lot of ego, attachment, addictions, possibly to drugs, alcohol, sex, anything. Um, someone with very bad habits and you feel like this person has negative influences in their life or are a negative influence over your life could be a Capricorn show me this nine of wands the death card yeah see this is being close to an ending close to success here ready to grow and ascend and this is how you're looking at this like it's dead and stinking to you look at that skeletal hand right there over the rose you're like this is dead and stinking I'm over it I don't know what you come over here for you ain't got no business over here. Show me the emperor. This is divine masculine. This could be someone you're calling in in Aries. Eight of cups. Yeah, you're walking away. You found the strength to walk away. Pisces energy. You found the strength to walk away. It's just as simple as that. You found the strength to walk away. Look what's on the bottom. The strength. You. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. So now you are going towards your Ace of Pentacles. It's your faded uh, person. A soulmate. 
is waiting right here for you. Something very stable is being um, established with either Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or maybe even another Leo. Yeah, somebody's racing towards you right now. Let's look at some hidden truth. Anything they want to say, anything you need to know. I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, it says speak now or forever hold your peace. This person wants to communicate with you so bad. And they will reach out to you, a lot of them. I wish things could be different. And this is what they're going to try to do, get you back. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, I told you. You're moving forward. You found the strength to move away from this person. All right, to walk away. I'll see y'all next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.